BYU and Cal. So Joe Picula is here, the eight man on the uh, BYU rugby team. That's a position. You know, there's flankers and props and hooker and scrum. Eight man is the name of a position. Yeah. That's, uh, that's always been a little weird to me. They couldn't think of a name for that? I don't know. It's just the number. A lot of yeah. people get confused when they ask, like, what do you play? So eight. And like, yeah, but what do you play? Like, what's your position? So <laughs> Eight man. Yeah, eight I'm man. It's eight like man. who's on first. Yes. Oh, exactly. It's easy to keep track of, though. I yeah. like that. Because eight I'm man. a little slow. So. Eight man. <laughs> eight so, man, that's the position. So BYU and Cal tomorrow. Um, I, I said earlier that when, when BYU and Cal play, when I see those jerseys out there, it's like BYU and Utah to me. Yeah. Like, like the, the, the feelings of, okay, this is for a national championship. When you, when you run out there and the times you have, what kind of emotions does that stir up? Uh, it's a lot of high emotions. Um, you know, obviously playing for national championships is a big deal. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to go out and kind of showcase what talent we have and the hard work that we put in um, throughout the year. But, you know, just excitement. You know, I'm really nervous and anxious. I get a lot of like, just jitters before the games and stuff. But it helps me. As soon as the ball's kicked off, it's gone. Is, is that the same? So between BYU and Utah, obviously there's like a little inner content. Well, a little. Put put it lightly. <laughs> a little contention there. With Cal, is it the same thing? Like, do you, do you know these guys? You know their faces from previous years, and and is there a lot of trash talking going on, or is it? I mean, I feel like Cal's a pretty. Uh, I mean, when I think of Cal, I think of a pretty classy program, and and uh, and rugby is a very respecting sport. You respect your opponent. What's it like on the field with you guys? Yeah, it's like you said, like, uh, it's, you know, it's supposed to be a gentleman's game. There's not as much trash talk as football or, or other sports that I've seen, um, but we definitely are familiar with their faces. You know, a lot of them are uh, play with the national team or the collegiate All-Americans, so we know, um, you know, what to expect and who plays who, but it's the rivalry is definitely there, especially the last 10 years it's been BYU and Cal. Um, and I'm kind of newer to the program. It's my second year and stuff, but you can just tell there's a rivalry there just like with Utah. When, uh, when you think about tomorrow's game, and I, I recall one particular play that stuck out to me, and someone sent me a gif yesterday of it. They said, ask him about this play. You forearmed some guy so hard. <laughs> you know what play I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. He, he flew three feet away. Was it like a, you shoved him off of you or uh, uh, coming it, down on him? Is, is this guy – I don't even know what this guy's name or if he's going to be playing there. You think, is, yeah. he, is he still Is he still living? playing for that team? Yeah, no, he's still? Still, uh, yeah his name is Alec uh, mm -hmm. Gletzer. He's really good. He's actually one of their, like – um, you know, their workhorses, he's in every play. He's, he hustles around the field. He's a good player. Um, yeah, I just took the ball off the back of a scrum and got lucky. You know, I kind of – I was got running – lucky. I was running one way. And he just got unlucky. Misdirection. <laughs> and met just, my forearm. He was just there in the wrong spot, you know, so it was good. Yeah. It was a good play, is, hopefully. Is there, a, is there a conversation about that? You know, was there, is there tomorrow? Uh, no, I haven't talked to him yeah, personally yeah. about it, but – Hey, hey, how's the face? <laughs> <Yeah>. Round two. <laughs> Round two is yeah. coming up, man. Hopefully. Joe, Joe Picula, BYU Rugby, uh, is on BYU Sports Nation. I know you're not a part of this uh, um, crew, but tell us about the moving crew. These guys are famous around campus. Oh, right? man, yeah. The moving Notorious. crew. Notorious. The moving crew, man, there's so many kids that get in. A lot of them are foreigners just with the work visa issues and uh, having to work on campus. And it's really flexible. They're on the rugby team. Yeah, they're on the rugby team. You yeah. know, it's really flexible with their, with their practice, with their school schedules and stuff. But – Man, those guys, I get Snapchats all day of them just chilling in the truck, <laughs> making jokes. You Hopefully know. they're working, right? I, I don't see it. Well, the grounds <laughs> look great. BYU yeah. grounds look great, so they must they're, be doing they're something. They're grounds. They're moving crew, oh, I thought. Well, are yeah. they, wait, are they grounds or moving? No, they're moving crew. They're yeah. moving right. crew. You're so right. like, hey, a, ta a table. We've <laughs> got a table to move over yeah, at the always We need RV. 10 guys. We need 10 guys. Everyone load up the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I just see them driving around smiling, like waving at me. I'm like, what are you guys? Yeah, see, I don't so know. I saw them yesterday. They literally pulled in the parking lot, went around, and then left. I was like, what are they even doing here? Yeah. Paula CK, we saw Paula CK fall camp. He practiced in the morning. He got interviewed, and then we saw him like 20 minutes later, get picked up, rolling around truck. in the movie. <laughs> he, he had to go to work. Uh, you, you're also on the football team. Tell us how long you've been doing that and what you're doing. Uh, so I, I'm on the football team. You know, with Mike, we did it last year, um, and I walked on in March of last year, playing D line. So it's going good. Just kind of taking it slow and trying to learn the process. I don't know. You were a walk on. Yeah, you I was don't a play like a walk on. No, you were yeah, beasting guys out no, there. I was a walk. I transferred from UVU, and I was like, I'll just give it a shot. Okay. So. I was wondering where you came. Seriously, you just showed up one day, and I was like, "Who's this huge guy yeah. just throwing people around?" Okay, all right, it's all becoming clear. Yeah. So, so we have you as Joe Picula, but I believe that are you? Do you go by a different name on the football team? Yeah. Well, so my first name is Lata Noah. Lata Noah. Yeah, and then with Coach Kafusi, just you know, went by my first name. He's being Tongan and stuff. Started calling me by that. So. Just kind of worked out like that. So a lot of guys know me by Lata, L A T A. So okay. Yeah, so you they're not two different Noah, Pikula. because there's yeah. already a Noah. Yeah, there's already Noah Pikula. Noah, so. yeah. Yeah. He goes by Noah. 
Yeah, no, he goes by Noah. I think some people call him Manoa, but mostly mm. Noah, too. Are you, are you two first cousins? Uh, no, not first cousins, but we're, like, distant related and stuff. Okay. Naturally. Uh-huh. Yeah. Naturally. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the Palangis call him uh, Manoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then no, n- the Noah is the insider. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so this this upcoming fall, expect to be on the, the roster again? Yeah. Do you have to try out again? And all? Uh, no, it'll be – we'll just go through summer workouts and then hit fall camp and then right into schedule for the year. How do you, how do you break into the uh, – the two deep at some point. What are you, what are your plans with that? Uh, just work hard throughout the summer and stuff. You know they got a lot of good guys returning. We didn't really lose. I think Marcus Johnson was the only one that we lost a lot as of far as like there. in the depth in the rotation. So mm-hmm. they're still pretty deep at the D line position, which is good. So how but, do you balance playing two sports? Say in the spring yeah. you're doing spring ball and then you play rugby for the number one team. Well, I was gonna say I I, ha- I love you, but I hate <laughs> you, man. I, I was doing one sport and I could barely my body couldn't even you know withstand the blow. I had so many injuries and was struggling through school. You're playing two sports going to BYU how are you doing it oh man it's it's tough you know it's been a sacrifice for sure I've I've wanted to quit one or the other and just kind of focus but I just have a lot of fun with both of them you know with with, you know spring ball is like 6 a.m you're at there for team meetings and then school throughout the day then rugby at night and then just kind of the same routine so make sure I get a lot of sleep and just hustle you know Gosh. <laughs> well, let's give you the BYU Sports Nation karma so you have another uh, huge fend in, uh, in the game tomorrow against Cal. And uh, good luck. I'll be there. It's yeah, be awesome. thank you guys. Thanks. Get so his much. other side of the face there. <laughs> Thanks. Good luck, four, man. For Eastern time tomorrow, if you want to go in person at Rio Tinto Stadium, if you're in Utah and Sandy, or watch it on NBC Sports Network. Come